Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cringe Confessional. How are you doing? Let's go ahead and see what people have wrote in. You know how when you miss school, you need a pass signed by your parents? My dad would always refuse to write it and always told me just to forge it. Based. One time I went to the dentist and made my dad write me a pass. He begrudgingly wrote it for me okay. and I turned it in, paying no attention to it. Uh -huh. Later that day he asked if I read it. I said no. He told me that it said that I was out getting penis enlargement surgery. <laughs> Your dad's weird. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the next week, I missed a day of school oh, no. and made him write a pass again. This going. time he told me to read it beforehand, and I didn't. <laughs> My son was late due to a doctor's appointment for correcting his botched circumcision. Dad's got a lot of dick jokes. Dad got the enlargement surgery joke and the botched circumcision. Dad's obsessed with the pee pee. Two periods later, I get called out of a math test and into the principal's office. Oh, God, took him a they while to read that, They huh? wrote these to prank the school, which I obviously did not. Oh, no. We ended up calling my dad, who they integrated. Integrated? They asked why he did this in word for word, he said. Ma'am, my son's penis is fucking hilarious. My mom did not talk to him for a week. Link below for proof. Proof? She knew who she married. That's unbelievable. What a fucking king. Your dad sounds like the dad in, like, American Pie. This is a teen comedy plot. Was late to school, uh, today due to doctor's appointment for correcting his botched circ- Your dad has funny handwriting. This guy's a jokester. Your dad's a fucking comic. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> In third grade I was eating a chuck shit cookie and a bird shat on it and I didn't realize and ate the bird shit. Oh boy, that's a good one. That's a quick, that's a, that's a quick hitter. Just a little one, two. Chocolate chip cookie, bird shit. Bow. Knockout punch. I actually have a bird poop story. I swear to God, okay, this is very fast. I won't get stunned like, I used to think that I had psychic powers like an X-Man. I was at Ocean City in Maryland and I was at the boardwalk and... I saw people walking and I saw a bird coming from this direction and the people were coming from this direction. And I was like, wow, uh, wouldn't it be crazy if that bird pooped on those people right now? Wouldn't that be insane? And then the bird did poop on those people and I thought I had the worst superpower ever. I didn't know if I had, like, I didn't know if I, if I had a uh, premonition or if I was actually poop boy. I don't know if I forced it out of the bird. But I swear to God that story is true. Hand to God. I'll never forget it. We're gonna hear from, uh, from Alberto here. Oh, neti me wani was a kid. In Sunday school, lo he wedded in a real dino. So me story and on a kid it never met before started speaking and it out. I was going for a funny character voice so I get out loud for a split. Second, but it turned out he had a speech impediment. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's pretty ironic. We had to put on the voice for this one. <laughs> Maybe no more Alberto. Let's go back to Ryan. The first week of the semester of college, I met a girl who I really enjoyed hanging out with. Okay. I didn't know how to ask her out in person. Uh-huh. I asked for her number, talked to her for the night, and then asked, over text, if she'd be interested in going on a date. Not bad. After not hearing back, and noticing that she wasn't in class the next day, I sent her a message saying that I hoped everything was going all right and that whatever prevented her from coming to class wasn't too bad. Y were you the thing preventing her from coming to class? In a different class we share, I asked if she'd like to go for a walk and talk. Okay. Because for whatever reason, I still thought I had a chance at this point. Not that bad. We walked for a bit. I tried to ask for a hug. She high-fived <laughs> me, saluted me and walked away. She saluted you? Oh my god! No way! Oh, Jesus! Maybe she's a really big John Cena fan. <laughs> Hustle, loyalty, respect. He was really big around that time, right? The salute is bad. The only thing that'd be worse is giving you the finger guns. You know, like one of these. I received a text later that day saying she was uncomfortable being around me and to never talk to or text her again. This story ends with a smiley face, by the way. You guys can't see it because it's on the it's on the thing, but there's a smiley face at the end. And that is the most passive-aggressive smiley face I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. The worst they could say is no. I, I think the worst they could do is salute you. That's new on the list. I never fathomed that a woman could do that. That would hurt way more. 
No thanks, soldier. <laughs> at ease. <laughs> A few years ago, I used to really be into Five Nights at Freddy's, so in school I would just sing the fan-made oh songs all day oh while in God. class, and oh a ton of my God. friends bugged me about how cringe it was too. Oh this God. day... Oh my God. Living Tombstone, right? <laughs> this was you! This was you! What a cool kid! Wow. Bet you love Matt Pat too, didn't you? That one's good. Thank you so much for writing in. That's bad. That's really bad. But hey, every generation has their cringe. Continue playing, you're so close to the drop. Oh wait, I forgot, that's the bridge, you're right. Hit the drop. It's kinda close. Oh man. That is a good drop though. Eight years later, this shit still bangs. 266 million views. Coney would definitely sing this 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was 23. I would not sing this at 23 years old. I did have a phase in middle school where I thought it'd be really cool to bring an NES zapper to school on my hip. Never told anybody that. Okay, Captain N. Don't know what I was thinking. I thought, like, gamers were cool, wicked, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just realized you can't do that now. Schools are different. <laughs> I truly lived in the, in the best of times. <laughs> in the sixth grade, I opened my locker and a stereotypical love letter card fell out. Ooh, you got a secret admirer. Ooh, I bet they're cute. What happened? I read it, and I thought about all of the girls that could have sent it since no name was attached. Could be After anybody. It, it could be my anybody. My conclusion was that the letter was obviously meant for the guy whose locker is next oh, to mine. Oh, dude. He was taller. So I went over to him while he was talking with some people and told him they, this love letter was <laughs> oh my in my God. locker, but I'm pretty sure they've got it wrong. And it was oh supposed God. to be for you. I handed it to him and left. <laughs> he thinks you're into him now. <laughs> he thinks you're the admirer. Oh, that's it. That's how the story ends. Okay. You know, that's pretty bad. To be fair, how else does that story end? There is no other way for you to go. My girlfriend broke up with me the day before New Year's then thought it would be a great idea oh, to fuck. invite me to hang out with her family on New Year's. Even stranger as I said yes, I thought well maybe she doesn't mean it. She's inviting me over and we will patch things up. Okay, that- I would think that too. I think she's keeping it open. The second she came to yeah. pick me up, I tried to hug her and she denied me. Oh, you gotta leave. You gotta turn around and leave. Uh, new year, new you. Get out of there. Oh, boy. At the time, I didn't have a car, so I couldn't leave. Once we were out and about, oh my God. had to hang out with her for seven oh. hours after that very cringe time. Uh, okay, you know what? She denied you for a hug. That's on her. Why invite? That's a better question. <laughs> One day, when I was younger, probably either eighth or ninth grade, there was a girl that I really liked named Natalie. Okay. We voice called a lot, but we're both too awkward to actually ask the other out. Okay, I have not lived in a generation where people voice call. What's that like? It's like a phone call. I feel like it's not, though. Right? Because when your, your online identity comes into play, there's a difference to it. The school gave us time outside for some reason, and I was standing with a group of my and friends. And you shit your pants! A group of girls approached us, pushing Natalie towards me, and starting chanting for us to hug. Okay. You bonk heads. A group, me, being the genius I was, stood awkwardly for a couple minutes, said no thanks, and walked away. Unbelievable. Our second Sigma of the night. Honestly, bro, once again, it was a trap, and you avoided it. Actual Giga Chad in the chat. Congratulations. Is that just how it ends? That's the end of the story. Good shit. She'll remember that for the rest of her life. You were the one that got away. She'll think, why wasn't I enough for him? I've been single for nearly all my life. Okay. What few sparks of hope I had were doused rather swiftly. Oh, this one's So sad. around a year ago, I decided to step out of my comfort zone Hell a little yeah. more. Good. self -improver. So I tried Tinder. About a month of looking and swiping. I got no matches. Oh god, you're ugly. I was curious if you had to purchase the subscription in order to see if anyone liked your profile, which would make sense from a business perspective. Sure. 
I'd say another week or so passed and I finally got a match. Please don't be a bot. A very attractive girl with a simple profile. Oh no. So I sent a simple hello message. Oh no, it's a bot. I was excited for a new opportunity with someone and You're was curious if so I would much. get a response. Oh no. The notification that I got a message back filled oh me God. with the most hope I've felt in a long while. Listen, you're definitely ugly, but you are a phenomenal storyteller. You should become a director now. You could be a fucking billionaire. And then women will talk to you, I promise. I checked the message, and it wrote, Hey, oh. make sure to check out my new movie coming out this weekend. I got baited. The profile was just the main actress's oh ad account. God. I have yet to get a single like. I still don't even know if you need the subscription. <laughs> He's so Gal Gadot. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Oh my god, what a fucking story. This is the this is the story of the night. Truly. God bless you whoever submitted this. Junior year of high school, I had the biggest crush on this musical theater girl. Okay. I was more into the improv part of theater and the production side of things. Oh, an improv kid. Ugh. I'm wearing a hat. Hate that. Hate that. Oh, you're gross. Uh oh, we're in the Sahara Desert. What will we do? Anyway, uh, this is cringe enough. Uh, please continue. I wanted to ask this girl to prom and I only knew she loved Hamilton the musical. <laughs> Did you rap it? I forced it? myself to it? listen to the whole thing and ended up writing oh my this God. whole romantic oh my God. You wrote a rap. letter addressed you wrote to her a that oh, was no Hamilton way. theme. No way! It was so incredibly no cringe. Way. I signed it with the I have the honor to be your faithful servant oh, no. thing from the musical. Oh, no. The plan was to ask if she was oh, free the no. day of prom, and then hand her the letter. You didn't give it to her, I right? was sweating bullets, and finally get the courage to confront her and I ask are you free Please on April 23rd, or whatever saw that letter. day it oh my was. God. I didn't ask if she was going to prom, I just asked the specific date. Okay. She said it was one of her friend's birthdays, oh and I god. just said oh okay, oh, and left holding averted. the letter. Oh my god. I spent days writing this thing in cursive, <laughs> and perfecting the subtle nods to the musical, and nobody has ever seen it. Send I still got it and it it's so unbelievably cringe. Send it to me now. Please for the love of god, please send me this letter. I will wrap it on stream. I will. I'll do it. Swear to god. Hand to god I'll do it. I will perform it. I'll even do it like Lin Manuel. Yo, I hope you're going to prom. We'd love to go with your mom. <laughs> I'm not an improv kid. I'm not an improv kid. I can't freestyle. I can't freestyle. <laughs> I can't do improv. I need the letter. I can't. I need a script. I need a script. I used to have an aversion to swallowing my own spit, that sucks. which often resulted in me having a mouthful of spit until I could spit it out somewhere. What the fuck? <laughs> you rolled the worst perk imaginable. You can't swallow your own spit? That's so inconvenient. How do you go to the movies? You need a second cup. One time I was walking through the hallway okay. at my school and a cute girl told me she liked my shirt. I tried to say thanks but forgot I had a mouthful of spit and instead just spit vomited all over the shirt she just complimented. I still think about it every night. Dude, what? <laughs> okay, you remember how earlier I said I thought I had magic powers because I made the bird shit? If I was that girl, I would think I was a menace. I would think something I said made you project- I would think I was the grossest girl in the school. I made you projectile vomit. All she said was nice shirt. <laughs> hey, nice shirt! <laughs> I started my YouTube channel as a middle schooler, and I tried to get popular. Not bad so far. As a birthday gift, I bought two giant boxes of business cards with oh. my channel on it. I passed them out all around school. Oh. I found multiple ripped up throughout the week. Oh my god! I think I ended up losing subscribers. No! You posted cringe! No! You lost subscriber! No! Number go down! Dude, what if they became Mr. You could have been Mr. Beast. You don't know unless you try. Right? I feel like you you, you have to try it. Because this story could go the other way. Or you could still be Mr. Beast. Maybe you're still YouTubing. I don't know. This isn't that bad. Oh my god. 
the first sentence of this is going to paint a very dire picture. It was middle school, and my class was visiting the Holocaust Museum on a school trip. Oh, God. Hey, Vince put it in here. So, if my career is over by the end of this, just know it was Vince's fault. You're fine, Clueless. Okay. It was middle school, <laughs> and if you've never been to the Holocaust Museum, you should know it's dead silent in there. I have been. Like nobody ever makes a peep. Right, there's a lot of reverence. Because, you know, the Holocaust. Right. There is this one section talking about the concentration Don't camps. Don't make a gas joke. Right? Don't make a gas and joke. And the floor is like granite or marble, or some really nice flooring material. Okay. And as my class moves on to the nice stone floor, uh, I'm the only one whose shoes squeak. I mean, come on. And it's not like a quiet squeak. <laughs> it's a whole scree, 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 scree every time I take a step. Okay, wait a minute. I, I, thought, I thought it was just one noise. But no, as you're walking through it, uh, 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 uh. Oh, that is bad. No, that is bad. Everybody's saying it's not that bad. No, it is bad. You gotta take off your shoes. It's a whole Have and some my respect. friend goes, This bitch walking like Squidward tentacles. Except it came out way loud and half the people around us laugh really nervously and the other half look all scandalized <laughs> like, How dare you disturb the memorial for these oppressed people? And I could feel the museum workers' eyes just drilling holes into my skull. I was gonna fucking die. Anyway, that's my Joker origin story. Also, here is the Squidward walking sound for context. <laughs> oh, I know it. I, I, I know the sound. Please follow me through the Holocaust Museum. Right this way. Kids are funny. Yeah, whoever said that Squidward tentacles thing made it way worse, but that rules. I, don't, I would have to laugh at it, too. When I was in fifth grade, I performed in the end of the year talent show. Okay. I got on stage and got three lines into the song I was performing and <laughs> forgot the lyrics completely. Oh no. I ran off the stage in shame. I then begged my teacher to perform again oh. and she let me. Uh -huh. I forgot the lyrics at the exact same spot oh, and cried. Oh no. Oh. Maybe the performing arts aren't for you. Maybe you should learn how money works. Become an accountant or something. Oh, that poor kid. That's sad. When I was in eighth grade, I was very pretentious about how smart I was. We all were. Towards the end of the year, we held a bracketed tournament in class. For what? And whoever solved a math problem faster than your opponent moved on. Oh, God. I made it all the way to the finals and lost to get second place. Okay, not bad. Respectable. I was devastated, and afterwards I got a bathroom pass and cried inside the stall. Oh. And to top it all off, while I was crying, I read fan fiction from cartoons I oh watched my at the God. time to calm myself oh down. No. Trust me when I say I no longer care about math nor cartoon fan fictions. Oh, this one's so bad. This is pure and and unrefined cringe. Because nobody else knows this story except you. Well, they might know you. Like if you came out of the bathroom with your eyes still red, they might. But this is just something you could have taken to your grave, but you wrote in. Bullying is okay sometimes. Yeah, actually, this isn't your fault. Some kid should have beat you up. I got bullied in, in middle school. I was getting my stuff out of my locker one day, and my bully's name was Derek. And uh, my locker, I opened up the door, and it smelled like raw fish. Like somebody put a, a fucking salmon in my locker, like a tuna. And I open it up, I'm like, oh my god, not this shit again. And Derek comes up behind me and like basically puts his head on my shoulder. He's like, what's wrong, Cody? What happened? What's going on today? What's that smell? Hoo-wee! What a stink! Fucking hate Derek, bro. Guy's an asshole. When I was 13, I snuck out in the middle of the night see me my then boyfriend at the time. Okay. He had some friends over and one of them brought the devil's lettuce and Ooh, we all including me decided to get high. And Little that's when my ex-boyfriend get the bright idea to a few streets down and steal. Some poor resistance dog so we all high as hell went over and just stole the dog. What the fuck? You stole a dog? You stole someone's dog? How high were all of you? I could see if one person's high enough to do this. None of you objected? My ex kept it and to this day still has her. Oh my god, are you serious? You now. To the guy or girl missing your dog, I'm sorry. But oh you're not god. getting her back anymore. No She's in way. now. You stole a dog and kept it? Oh my god, dude, that's fucking brutal. That's sadistic. I feel like it's my obligation to hand over your information to the police now. You better hope you're within the, you're out of the statute of limitations. 
I'm gonna find your IP. Are you fucking kidding me? This is a literal crime with a living thing. Is the dog happy? The dog's got, well, I guess it has to be. The dog has Stockholm Syndrome now. Coney, you are now in legal obligation to turn the confession in. Uh, nope, it was a joke, actually. They wrote at the end of this, I was just kidding. You guys can't see it, but it does say that. So actually, it didn't happen. <laughs> Funny story. When I was in kindergarten, I started to really like this girl. Okay. Every time I'd move school, she'd still be there up until 8th grade. Wow. In 8th grade, she calls me one day and says she has something important to tell me. Oh, God. I hang up the phone as I heard what I thought was oh, someone laughing. No, the no, next day was no. our last of the year, so everyone went out for pizzas, no. and she was really mad at me and wouldn't talk to me the entire oh time. Oh my god! Months later I lose a bet, and I have to message her which I do. Then she calls me and has her boyfriend tell me off. <sighs> Wait, that's it? That's the whole thing? No resolution here. Yeah, this is just a, a bad ending. You got the bad end. That's crazy. This is another one of those stories. When you are that age, you really feel like every interest from a woman is a trap. You think it's a scheme. Why is your chat so oblivious? Are you not? Huh? Check out the Giga Chat in the chat. Never messes up an opportunity to sleep with someone. Wow, look at this guy. All high and mighty. Slam pussy every day. No, that... I, listen, that's been me. This has happened to all of us. Does that feeling ever go away? Yes. <laughs> yes. Slight backstory. Sure. I, as a kid, I asked what a hickey was. Another and the hickey story. told me it was another name for a bruise. Wow. So fast forward to around third grade, we were asked to write a small essay about an injury we received for show and tell. Okay. And I went first so excited to oh, share no. my story. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This could go so bad. My story was called, My First Hickey, ah! and the teacher immediately told me to stop, but I was so excited to share it I begged and the teacher told me to go ahead, but Why? was so prepared to stop me at the first sign of something via D. Okay, that teacher fucked up. Why would that teacher be like, oh, I guess, let's hear him out. This third grade kid got a hickey? Why not? Who knows? Okay. So my story was about the time I fell off a bike and got sure. a bruise. Oh, no okay, deal, got it, got it. That's but fine. I was telling everyone my bruise was a hickey without knowing what it okay, meant. Okay, that could have been worse. The class laughed okay. every time I said hickey, and when it was over, the teacher was in tears <laughs> laughing, which was weird That is me. funny, okay. The teacher was laughing and went to get the teacher in the room next to us, and they both laughed. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This turned into could have been really bad to not bad to really bad. You got both teachers laughing at you now, and the whole school is seeing it. Oh, multiple classes, too. Because, like, that teacher has to be like, Hey, kids, I have to pause my class. This other teacher is calling me in. And you know she's going to spread the story. It's going viral. I did not ask why. I just took Maya and sat down embarrassed but confused. You got an A, though. I did not know the difference until I was a few years older. Wait a minute. I still feel embarrassed from it, and I'm 31 Hey, now. bro, still got the A. We aced it. Not bad. Hey, it's a W. It's a W either way. That's my fucking guy. Dude, the entire... You got the whole class I can't take. That's incredible. Holy shit, what a good story. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of Cringe Confessional for tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys liked it, I know. We're done with the stories. We're done with people writing in. Hey, if you enjoyed it, drop a, drop a Drake in the chat, please. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We had a terrific time. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cringebot, do you have anything to say to the chat? Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Why is it over there? See you next time. Cringebot, oh, you old rascal. We'll see you next time on Cringe Confessional. Remember to write in cringe.cody.gg. And who knows, maybe your story will be featured next time. We'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Oh. Fun segment. Good time. Hey, if you made it to the end of the end card, thanks for watching. Thanks for upping the view duration. That's sick.